as we all sit around waiting for that sweet, sweet COVID cash, not everybody's gonna get it. So who gets it? Who doesn't? Well, let's take a quick peekers here. NBC News. Uh, for millions of Americans awaiting that sweet, sweet COVID cash, help is not on the way. So it's not going to be the first of the month. Get up, get up. Actually, it's more like the middle of the month. Get up, get up. What are they going to change the song to now? It's the COVID time of the year. Get up, get up. I don't know. Although the $2 trillion stimulus bill passed last month includes payments of up to $1,200 for everyone who makes less than the limit, many Americans will fall through the cracks. That includes most college kids, immigrants without social security numbers, and some disabled adults. Uh, why so many gaps? Well, because we can't cover everybody. That's kind of just the way it is, and some people don't really need the help, and we need to put the help where it is. We don't have enough to help everybody like we should be able to. We can only help them out like we can our best, so we can't give it to everybody. College students and 17-year-olds. If someone else claims you as a dependent on their taxes, you ain't getting it. Point blank, that's it. Parents will get an extra $500 payment per child, but that's only for kids that are under 17 years of age. Most 17-year-olds, some young adults, and many of the country's roughly 20 million college students are claimed by their parents. If you're not claimed by their parents, then you'll get the check. They're not on their own. So you feed them, you still provide for them, and yeah, obviously. Disabled people whose parents support them because they have support from other means. People who get disability benefits from Social Security Administration or Veterans Affairs are eligible for the payments, but not disabled adults who are claimed as dependents. You see a pattern. Basically, if you are claimed, you ain't getting it. If someone else is claiming you, you are not getting it. Seniors living with their kids, if the kids are claiming them as a dependent. Immigrants without social security numbers, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. You ain't got a social security number. You're not filing taxes. If you're not filing taxes and you don't have a social security number, ah, point blank. Now said. Babies born in 2020, they're too young. They don't need anything. High earners who lost their jobs, they're rich. They don't need anything. Parents who split custody, it's whoever claims the child gets the money. If you're a parent who claimed a child in 208, 218, woo -wee, 2018, well then, uh, yeah, we just went back in time a couple thousand years. If you claimed the child in 2018, you are not getting a check. If you claim the child in 2019, you are getting the child, the, the check. You see a pattern. It all depends on how you've claimed and how you filed. Recently divorced or estranged. Not everyone who files taxes jointly with a spouse in 2019 is married to that spouse. Or on speaking terms, even. Couples who filed their taxes jointly last year get a single combined payment of up to 2400 Whoever's account that went into, that's where the money's going. I can smell some legal issues on the horizon. All over $1,200 because, man, yeah. People who owe back child support. Self-explanatory. You owe back child support, well, it's the same as regular taxes. You ain't getting those either. Anyways... I highly encourage you to check this out. I will leave a link to this in the description below if you want to read it and peruse it and get detailed issues. I just did a basic uh, overview, really. If you can even call it an overview, I really skimmed over it for you guys. But basically, it's pretty common sense. Depends on how you filed uh, and if you've claimed anybody. If you are claimed, whoever got the taxes gets it, that sort of thing. Pretty self-explanatory, but... I wanted you guys to know I love you guys. Stay informed, and I will see you on the next one.